MongoDB raised $192 million in its IPO today. The stock popped in its debut of trading. Tell me, what are you going to do with this extra cash on hand? I hear it's going toward working capital and maybe some acquisitions, but give us a little bit more granularity on that. Um, it's actually all for working capital. We have no plans to make any acquisitions today. Um, we, we're going after a very, very large market. In fact, it's one of the largest markets in enterprise software. And uh, we're using the proceeds to really invest in both product and continue to innovate and produce uh, in, uh, new products as well as expand our existing portfolio products as well as invest in kind of go to market. You know, there's many parts of the world that we don't have salespeople in. Even in the U.S., we don't have salespeople in every NFL city. And so we're looking to expand our reach and uh, be able to reach more customers more efficiently. Who are you targeting as you continue to go for scale? You say you're pushing out geographically. Are there specific types of customers, developers, uh, IT partners? Who are you looking to build out the relationships with? Yeah, so we actually have over 4,300 customers today um, across nearly every vertical industry. So we have some of the largest customers in the world who are using MongoDB. So, uh, for example, over 50% of the top 100 companies in the world are, are customers of ours today. So some of the most sophisticated customers are using uh, MongoDB to run their business. And so one of the things that really differentiates MongoDB is that we're really a general purpose database that were designed uh, truly to address a wide variety of use cases and uh, across uh, almost every industry. So there's no revenue concentration. And um, uh, we feel like, you know, what it really shows is that uh, we are well positioned to go after larger opportunity. When you talk about larger opportunities, what's that mean? Bigger customers, uh, break that down for me. So there's really three opportunities to grow in an account. One is you know, obviously their existing application grows as their data volumes grow. Um, new use cases, so we truly are a land and expand business. So we've seen customers grow by a factor of 10 and 20 times their initial spend. And so uh, as we penetrate the, the account and, and be able to support new applications, new use cases, and then migrations of existing use cases where they find that the existing application architecture just doesn't scale, it's hard to add new features, it's hard to adhere to new regulations or compliance policies that they have to conform to, that's usually a catalyst for them to migrate the existing application onto MongoDB. So with that, you know, these accounts are growing very quickly and we're adding lots of new accounts as well. And so that's why we feel very bullish about our future. When I do think about the industry, though, uh, the competition, names like Oracle come to mind. Apple, uh, Amazon, and Google are cross-selling their database products on their cloud offerings, and that's a semi-recent development. How do you jockey against these biggest names in tech uh, when it comes to selling into customers? Yes, uh, good question. We actually, well, you know, we've been competing with the biggest names in tech since the company was founded. And so Oracle has built its database technology on an architecture that was introduced over 40 years ago. I mean, 40 years ago, I was using a rotary phone to make phone calls. Now I have a computer in my pocket. So fundamentally, the technology landscape has changed pretty radically, but their architecture is still based on the relational database, which was introduced in the 1970s. Uh, in terms of the other players like Amazon and Google, we're actually partners with them. They've actually helped fund the growth of some of our products on their cloud. Um, but one of the advantages that we have is you can literally run MongoDB anywhere. You can run it on premise, literally on your laptop. You can run it in the data center, and you can run it in the, in the private or public cloud.